Question 2 says, on a hot summer day, the temperature of air in Arizona reaches 101 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the speed of sound at this temperature? Enter your answer to four significant figures. The speed of sound at 0 degrees Celsius is 331 meters per second. Use the conversion 0 degrees Celsius equals 273 degrees Kelvin as necessary. The problem is asking us for the final velocity of sound at a given temperature. And so we have a formula that uh, the, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity times the, the square root of the final temperature divided by the initial temperature. And so um, because we have a, because we're assuming that everything is taking place in air, we can have a standard for the air. So the standard, if we have a, a temperature of zero, then the, the velocity is equal to 331 meters per second. And so if we always use 331 as our V initial and we use uh, 0 degrees Celsius as our T initial, then we can standardize this equation to be that the, the final velocity is equal to 331 times the square root of our final temperature divided by, and we, we'll convert this 0 Celsius to Kelvin, so divide it by 273.15 Kelvin. And because the, the 273.15 is in the denominator of, of a square root, you can actually just say 273, and you're going to get the same answer at four significant figures. The problem is it doesn't give us our temperature in Kelvin. It gives it us our temperature in Fahrenheit. And so Fahrenheit, so Celsius equals Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. So if we plug 101 in for the Fahrenheit, 101 times uh, minus 32 times 5 ninths is equal to approximately 38.333. That's in degrees Celsius, and so we've got to add 273 to that to get the degrees Fahrenheit, I mean the, the degrees Kelvin. So add 273.15, you get 311.4833. This is the temperature in Kelvin. So I'm just going to move all this out of the way, and we're going to rewrite our equation. So the velocity is equal to, to 331 times the square root of t of the t final. So we can say t final is, is 311.4833 divided by 273.15. You plug all that in your calculator, you should get something about 353 point five six zero seven. Um, of course I, I used uh, 273 on the deno on the uh, denominator of this. If you use 273.15 you get like 353.47 or something like that I think. So the four significant digits being right here is not that much different. You're going to get a, a five if you round that by this number.